Hello, my friends. What I'm going to do here is hook up a cyclone uh, aeration system from this inlet. But I have a problem with uh, a potential uh, overflow. And what that is, is the drain system. I have a three quarter inch uh, valve coming in. If I open this valve up all the way, this two inch drain does not handle the flow rate. Um, and it, there shouldn't be any problem. I ran into that situation with my filter tanks. When all the tanks are flowing into here, I have a pretty good uh, influx of water, and I have the two inch drains coming out. And this is what's going to the sump tank. Now, what was happening was it was getting an airlock and not allowing it to drain quick enough. So what I did is I put a T in, and then I put a standpipe. And this standpipe, all that that's doing is venting this area right here. So I need to eliminate an airlock that would be at this elbow. So at this elbow, I'm going to replace that with a T and let the T come up and vent the overflow. Right now, when I turn that valve on all the way, the uh, water will come over top of this vent here. Um, this, this was to allow uh, not to trap air because I'm picking up the water off the bottom of the, uh, the fish tank with a standpipe. So that should be picking up solids and that's what we want to do, pick up the water from the bottom of the tank. But it was not draining quick enough, it would come up and it would start flowing over the side of the tank here. So the solution should be replacing that with a T, then I'm going to open up the valve full force and see if it indeed does uh, take the drain, the full volume of the water that's coming in. So let me change this out right here. I just turned the water off, so I'm sure there's still a little bit water draining. And most of these pipes I did not glue together, just for the reason that saw that I may need to change. Now this one here is glued. So I need to cut this um, to get that T in. Here's the T that I'll use and I'll have to fix a splice to replace it right like that. There's no pressure in this side of the line, so just push fit, should fit, make, make it watertight. If I do have a problem, I can always go back and glue it. Okay, I may need to put a small standpipe here. I should not have to. Let me turn the water on and we're going to go all the way open and then just give it a few minutes and see if it's handling the full outflow. And if it doesn't handle the flow, I'll be able to tell even before it's leaking because it'll come over top of this and it won't be taking the water. It should not ever come over this. The water's been running for about an hour and you can see the water level here. It hasn't come up any higher than that. It's been holding steady right at that height and uh, it's taken all the water that will come in. So that fixed the problem, I'll do that with all the other tanks, so when I fill those, I know that uh, it'll handle whatever water I put into the tank. Now I'm ready to hook up the 
cyclone aeration. This is my cyclone aeration, uh, my back battery backup system. It runs off of a 12 volt pump. It's a submersible pump. When the power goes out, I have a relay that switches to the battery automatically and this will turn on. This will pump, swirl that water in there and uh, create a beautiful cyclone action which does a better job aerating water than what a bubbler will do. So what I'm going to do is hook my intake. This is the intake. I'm going to fasten this. I'll zip tie it right to this uh, the other hose that is coming in. I have to make sure that one doesn't interfere with the other. So we're going to do it this way. right there. It looks like it'll handle it. I hope water doesn't flush up over top. I can adjust it. We're still, this is still the prototype. Okay, the other end of this I bought some connections, a barb fitting and it screws into a piece that will fit right onto my three-quarter inch uh, intake line. So let's put this into lo its right location. <clears throat> Hi. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen this yet. Here I, you can see I have it all connected together and I'm real excited over this. It's working perfectly. You can see the outflow right there coming out of the bottom of the tank. And uh, let's check the top right here. And you can see that cyclone action. And this will definitely put more oxygen into the water than what a bubbler will do. So when I first tried this, I didn't have the water pressure. And with too much pressure, it was overflowing the tank. And with this vent, it will allow me to siphon all the water off, uh, whatever the rate is that's coming in. So right now, this tank is ready to have fish put in it. And if I lose power, that uh, 12 volt sump pump that's in there will continue that uh, cyclone action to keep flowing uninterruptedly because uh, as soon as the po power is lost, I have a relay that will switch right to a 12 volt battery. It would be an instantaneous shift, uninterrupted flow of that water. So right there, no more chance of another fish kill like I had in the past from a loss of power outage. Well, I'm real excited over this part of the rebuild that I have going here. Um, so it's definitely an improvement over what I had before. I didn't like the noise that that air pump was making. So uh, all you hear in here is the sound of the trickling water, which is wonderful. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.